Hello guys, part three. So, in the previous part, let me show you here, I started working in the principle of virtual work for beams, and I was explaining to you that all of all the equations, the one that mainly control the displacement or rotation for beams is this one. So we started working with this example, and this is the real beam here under these loads, and then we have to calculate the deflection and rotation, rotation at point D. We did this part by applying, every time that you want to find a rotation, you apply the unit moment in that, in or the, the slope. You apply the unit moment at that point uh, in the virtual structure, and solve the real and solve the virtual, and then apply the equation that I just showed you. And we did this part, now we're going to be working with the deflection. If I'm interested in finding the deflection at the point D, then I have to solve this, this beam. And we said, okay, you can do this in three parts. So if you, I was explaining to you that in the same way that you do the shear moment diagram and you calculate these points of interest or these discontinuities that define the, the, the region that you're going to make the cuts, same thing happened here. So you need a section here, a section here, and a section there in order to fully define that uh, beam equation-wise. Now we did this part. Now we're going to do this part. So we're going to start applying the same section here, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3. And this is a, a hinge. Fixed support, fixed support. In the previous part, we already calculated these reactions by doing moment here. So if I do moment here, I'm going to have this CY multiplied by 8 minus this 1 multiplied by 16. So you can find CY equals to 2. And then you do summation of forces in Y in the overall beam. And then you can get this uh, this this value here. What music is that? What is happening here? Everybody, everybody has to do something when I when I start to record a video. Everything, something happens. Like everybody wants to be an actor here. Find your own show. Don't bother me. Okay. So then, I have this part here. We did, as I said, in the real beam, we calculated the equation for each one of them. And now we have to do the same thing for, uh, this was the rotation, this is part two. Now part three, we are going to be working with this one. So I'm gonna just move right here, so it's easier for me to do this. And we're gonna do the section one one. So this will be for virtual deflection, virtual, deflection and we are going to be working with the section 1-1. One, one. Section 1-1 one, one is fairly easy. So I just do this. I put my section 1 here. This distance is going to be x. Remember you're going to have this convention for the internal forces everywhere. And then we have the reactions that we found in the virtual structure and that was just where the reaction that we found and we have to calculate just this so summation of moments at B prime equals zero if you do moment here then you're gonna have negative 16 and then negative 16 plus X times 1 plus MB prime equals zero and if I solve for mb prime, mb prime is equal to 16 minus x, passing this to the other side. And now we go to the section 2-2. Two, two. Section 2-2 two, two is this section here. And as I was telling, you can use either this portion from left to right, or you can use this portion here from right to left. The section can be placed in any direction. So I'm going to do it in both, just for the sake of, of showing it. So the first one should be this one. Hinge over there. This distance from here to here is 16. This is x. 16, 1. 
remember this is the point A, this is the point B, and I'm going to call this point C prime because it's between C and B and C. And once again, you have the MB prime, and then you have the B uh, C prime, and C prime here. Okay, good. Summation of moments at C prime equals zero. So you have negative 16 plus this distance, 16 plus x times 1. plus mb prime equals zero. This negative 16 and this 16 cancel each other out and this passes to the other side so mb prime equals negative x. One of the things that I told you, eh, I like to do this and I forgot to do it, section 1 1 and then the limit from 0 to 16 just to be sure what is happening and this will be section 2 2 and the limit will be 0 to 8 because it's from 0 to 8 here. Now if I decided to use the other end, meaning this other end here, what was going to happen is that I will have the reaction CY here, and that would be, where are you, where are you, this reaction. So this reaction here is 2, this distance is 8, and this is the virtual deflection here, so this is 1, this is 2, and in this side of the cut, you will have this. This distance is x and this distance is 8. So if I use this side instead of using that side, and I was doing that in red if I, if I don't recall wrong, which I don't think I do. Then you do summation of moments at c prime equals 0. c prime equals 0. And then you have negative mc prime a plus 2x minus 8 plus x times 1 equals 0 and then you can solve for mc prime passing this to the other side so you have 2x positive minus x is x minus 8 that will be the equation and I was telling you that when you do the integral the limits are gonna go in this way not from 0 to 8 but from 8 to 0 uh, unless you start thinking of negative distances and I don't like to do that but we're, we have been using this equation and I, uh, I just was showing you about this equation if you want to know I don't know why I call this mp prime this is mc prime I just realized if you want to know how this works look when I'm here the moment is 0 right for x equals 0 the moment is 0 but when I'm here, in this other end, x equals 8, which is also 0. If I'm here at the other end, at the other end, in this case, x is going to be equal to 8, so the moment is going to be 8. And if I'm here at this point, the moment of that part, it will be a here, when this equals a 8, I'm sorry, here, at this point, 0 to... 8, in the moment is 8, this is going to be 0 uh, in that part. If x equals 0, the moment is going to be negative 8, which will correspond with this when this equals to the limit 8. So it's the same equation, just the, the measurement of the distances are from different positions. Now for the third cut, section 3.3, this is 16, this is 8, this is 2 and now you have at some distance x before touching the end you will have MD prime and BD prime here and you have your reactions from before 16 and 1 like that and then you do summation of moments at C prime equals at D prime equals 0 here so you have negative 16 negative 16 plus this distance, this distance is 16 plus 8, 24, 24 plus x, 24 plus x multiplied by 1, and then 2, negative 2 times x plus md prime equals 0, and you can solve for md prime equals 
x minus 8 x minus 8 this is 16 right this is 24 so this is going to be positive 8 in this part when I pass it to the other side is this negative and then you have this is x minus 2x is negative x when I pass it to the other side is positive x if I didn't want to use this and I, wa I wanted to use the, the other part which is just this and this is x like that and this is v c prime and this is uh, d prime and m d prime like that if I just do summation of moments and m d prime equals zero then you have negative m d prime minus x times one equals zero or m d prime <laughs> equals negative x that will be the other equation and this is for 3 3 0 to 8 well not this one this one will be a 0 to 8 if I use this one it will be x to, uh, 8 to 0 in the other direction okay good now we have the virtual deflection now what is the, the the last part the last part is putting it all together and then we start our equation what is our equation 1 times the displacement has to be equal to the summation of all the integrals of m, m, dx over ei. So 1 times the deflection is going to be equal to the summation of, first, the integral. Let me get these things. Let me get these pages. Let me get real beam. Nope, this is real beam, but this is not it. This one. You see, this equation is the same for both rotation, deflection, and everything. So basically you can just copy that part. 240 plus 5x minus 1.25x squared. And the new part is this one, which is 16 minus x. Remember, E was constant, so I'm gonna put it at the end, whatever I do here at the end. I'm going to multiply by 1 divided by E because it was constant. But for this portion, the inertia was 4,000. So we put 4,000 here. And at the end, we have to uh, start dealing with the 0 to 16, 0 to 16, 0 to 16. At the end, we have to start dealing with that, uh, those units because they have to be homogeneous. The second part is 0 to 8, 0 to 8, 0 to 8. The equation this one was this one negative 35x so negative 35x multiplied by this one minus x dx divided by the inertia for this portion 2 is 3000 and so for the next one 3000 3000 3000 no, because I didn't want to use that. I wanted to use the other thing that we did. Well, in the other thing that we did, that was the equation, 35x minus 280, or integral uh, 35x minus 280 multiplied by the second part, which was this one, x minus 8 the x 3000 I'm just showing you both ways so you can do it in both ways plus the last part the third section correspond to this section here negative 280 plus 35 x negative 280 plus 35 x multiplied by this one x minus 8 x minus 8 dx 3000 is the inertia also or if you use the other part uh, of course 0 to 8 or if you use the other section the section in this side the section on that side will be negative 35x negative 35x or negative 35x multiplied by this one which was negative x. 
and this should have been in red, negative x. 3,000, the x. Remember, E is a 30,000 30, KSI for this problem. And there's going to be a component here also of unit coherence, unit transformation. So for this to be correct, I have to multiply that by 12 to the third. Now, the 12 to the third comes in the same way that the other one. This, remember, is skip fit. Uh, and we did that for the other parts just to show. This is in radians. Uh, this is in, 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 if I want the displacement, I don't know, in inches or whatever. Uh, this one here is going to be keep fit. Those are the units that we have. Keep fit. The distance is in fit. This is in the denominator. This is KSI, so keep inches squared. And this is inches to the fourth. So what we have here, keep and keep fit and keep fit gets eliminated. And then you have this keep and this keep here eliminated also in this part. And what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? This keep and this keep is eliminated. And then I have fit the fit square here. And this is inches square, inches square. But then we have the other thing, which is in this end, we have inches. So basically, if I have to put everything together, I'm going to have to convert this into inches. This is the conversion fit to inches to the third to make this coherent. And when you put all of these and you solve this integral, be my guess, have fun. You're going to have this displacement, 6 to, to 6 inches. Now, the fact that this is positive, that indicates that when we put our deflection in this direction, the deflection is pointing downwards. So if I get a positive value here, means that my original deflection assumption was correct. And that's the value for deflection at that point. So this concludes the third part of that problem. We just introduced the statement of the problem. Then we calculated the rotation at the point D. And this is the deflection at the point D. This is a really nice example. So I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did preparing it for you. See you next time, guys.